Hi, today I'm going to talk about sexual polarity and human design, how our entire um, human society has been conditioned to have a sort of inverted sexual polarity where men are overly feminine and women are extra masculine. So, uh, my projector journey recently, I've been thinking about love and relationships and I've not had many close sexual relationships. I've not had many girlfriends. I've had maybe two or three real girlfriends and they didn't last long, <clears throat> which is not a bad thing, but I look back on those and I look at how I was then and I, how what I was attracting into my life and uh, it's maybe what I was feeling at the time and one of the themes in my relationships is that I give my power to the feminine usually um, and I attract women who are controlling not necessarily controlling but they're more they were more likely to own own up to their masculine qualities because ultimately every human being has both feminine and masculine qualities in our body and our mind and our spirit but generally uh, men are leaning toward you know expressing a masculine as well as leaning toward the intellect or mental whereas women are usually from a biological and um, cosmic perspective they lean towards the body and the unconscious or the collective unconscious or the mystery you know and so I've been attracting partners that were more like my mom because I looked up to my mom as authority and a source of power as well because she's a generator and I'm a projector. So I've been projecting that sense of authority onto her for so long that I even attracted someone with the same, not the same name as my mom uh, at one point when I was in college. And you know that's okay it really brought to my conscious mind I'm like there must be a lot of similarities there and there's a lot of work to do there if I want to have a different experience or attract something different and uh, I think there's this thing called inverted polarity and I think our society has been going through that especially in the last 20 to 30 years it's like there's been a lot of heavy programming around making women um, kind of go over the edge for taking over their masculine side and projecting that out because they don't feel safe. So, and then men are, uh, have been in general through the media emasculated and kind of de um, dishonored for their masculine and so what comes out is this child childishness uh, which is the same sense of self that the people who are shaping and living in that paradigm of the media that's dishonorable their own sense of self um, we have the society of men who are afraid to express their masculinity because they're afraid of being ostracized publicly um, so we have a lot of effeminate men which is not wrong but uh, it is kind of an imbalance in the universal or global scale of sexual polarity I think it's 
it's a manufactured form of how we look at ourselves and how we derive value from ourselves. So I think the same thing happened to my dad growing up. He was very distant in the relationship. He didn't want to be there. First of all, he didn't want to have kids. Uh, but yeah, he didn't want to be there in that relationship because he felt a lot of just inverted. He felt like he was getting too much masculine energy from my mom. So that polarity creates things where there's lack of communication, there's lack of love. There's uh, the guy who knew what his role was before. Well, when the media flips their perception over decades and goes, oh, now men are stupid or men you know, are too masculine and men don't know what to do and they're not appreciated for things. They're not, they don't know how to fit in to the family structure. <laughs> Women wonder where, where have all the men gone? Where, why is everyone acting like children? Why do I have to take over so much? And I think that's because largely we've been programmed to have women be more controlling. And so, you know, unconsciously they're making choices and not leaving things open for men to participate in the marriage and relationships. So the all of those things have come together and kind of informed my my perspective of myself, my genetic memory, my body's memory, and my interpretation of society, myself, my self image and my G center in human design, which is your, your love of yourself. Your, if it's open, you may have a desire to try and find someone to make you happy in a relationship. You may seek someone to plug in what feels empty in you because you don't know how to fix it in yourself. In your G center, in your heart, the nucleus of your yourself, self-worth so uh, yeah that's all I have to say about my journey with human design so far and sexual polarity inverted sexuality all of that stuff it's very interesting and you can learn a lot just uh, looking at things through the uh, from the higher level and looking at patterns around relationships like that so if you enjoyed this, feel free to book a human design reading at my website. I do them by donations so that everyone can participate. And uh, my website is joeprior.com. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Feel free to subscribe.